story to tell. Migrants and refugees have no choice. They have to go in search of livelihood, of safety, of security. And for this year, the 108th World Day of Migrants and Refugees, Pope Francis gives us building the future with migrants and refugees. He basically has two premises, that we need to live love and to learn from migrants and refugees. The first condition is acceptance. How accepting are we of those who are not like us? The other, we need to realize that a lot of the world actually are migrants. They have come from other lands, other places, and nowhere can we say that we can be exclusive. We need to be inclusive. Acceptance is basic. Then comes availability. How available are we to those migrants and refugees that come into our sphere of life, that enter maybe our villages, our housing societies, our towns and cities? Accommodation is important. It's not about that physical accommodation only, which they need, every single migrant and refugee, but the accommodation in our hearts. Do we have a place for them in our hearts and in our lives? That's important. We need to have an assimilation. Help them as far as possible to learn maybe our languages, our cultures, to become part of maybe the mainstream of the culture that they have entered. 
at the same time, they bring with them a specificity, their culture, their religion, um, their language. Can we learn about them? Can we learn these? Can we create maybe what we call a common ethos, a common place? And ultimately, there is the need and importance to accompany them. Accompaniment for every migrant and refugee is very important, is fundamental. These are the five A's. Acceptance, availability, accommodation, assimilation, and accompaniment.